man o mo founela ha ba tla hutwa ka ka tweba nyana e ya why o swankela mang he it's just because um swipe any it's got i can't can in dow it's a nothing for me with a spoon or fork or knife or whatever it is into this their mouth and it hits their teeth oh my mm. stand in your business know that if somebody has asked you out on a date you are not paying and nothing so yeah like i was i was with the boys and and you know this, <laughs> this is just so funny eh? close why are you eating like an animal that we don't bring animals to the table what is wrong you're looking like a zebra chewing on grass stop people who disrespect any form of service staff i'm out i don't i don't care to know who your last name is mm -mm. now i want to know what you do don't tell me who you are panda oh panda ing oh panda ing are you pandering this dog measles Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Candid with Cat. I'm so excited to be doing this one today because I haven't done this one in a long time. I haven't done Candid with Cat in a long time because unpopular opinions just kind of took over and that became the yeah now and uh, the things that I'm too old for. I know, but we're bringing Candid with Cat back slowly little by little thank you so much for being here thank you for choosing me over and over again i know that there are 2000 2500 new subscribers to the channel i really hope you do catch up on the content and you watch the videos some of them are funny some of them are educational some of them are informative some of them are just a good time and some of them are great vlogs for especially the introverted kind of person so thank you so much for being here today we're doing another kian did with cat okay and at this point i'm going to add some candid with cats below in the description box going to add one here as well so that you can watch the previous candid with cats now the topic in this one is what are some of the things that will make you walk away from a date what are some of the things that you you know you're just there you know you know you're just there and then something happens on that date or you see something and you're just like no ma'am no ma'am no ma'am <laughs> so as always i always put it down on my instagram and i ask you guys to tell me what are some of the things that you guys just you're just so put off by especially when it comes to dates and let me tell you it was a party okay i've got a few of my own so let's get into the gram and let's do this okay let's do this so zip is the archive scare no no okay i'm going to have to look at the archives and also look at the screenshots so let's get into it as always yes i always ask on instagram so you should be following me on instagram if you want to partake in this i never mention people's names it's always anonymous and we typically just have a good time okay let me let me go into this okay so essentially it said first date deal breakers what will have you running what will have you running why are you running what is it what is it stop running what is it why are you running a deal breaker for me this lady says a deal breaker for me is being close with an ex because why i bad exactly a deal breaker it's been close with an ex if i am going to sit down with you on a first date and the first thing you mention or somewhere in between that date you start talking about your ex i'm out the melanin zeni what i must do i'm out i don't want to i i i bona i don't want to hear it you could be so wonderful you could be god's child a gift from god Oh by your grace. Thank you. But at the same time, you talk about your ex why? Why are even you why are you close with your ex? People have kids and they break up 
with the baby mamas or the baby daddies or whatever and all of that, but they're not close to them. No, man, umu phone la ha ba ta hutwa ka ta ta tuwe ba nyana ya. They only talk to each other when they want to know about the baby, about that little mouse. Let's tell the truth. Mm -mm. Let's not even lie. Let's tell the truth. Let's tell the truth. That's the only time they call. So if you are trying to be close with an ex or you mention your ex quite a lot, I'm out. I'm this out. lady says, hi, he should not brag about his money. It comes across as artificial. This is one of my big ones. It's huge. If you're going to tell me, man, I told you guys about some date I went on. And let me tell you, this guy was talking about, this guy was talking about how the week before he was in Cape Town and um, his friends took him to Cape Town and they went to a club and he ended up, they ended up spending 50,000 Rand that night amongst him and his friends and how he's got this, 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 and he's making this 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 and he works with a lot of celebrities and whatever and I was like mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. at that moment I was like yeah Morena deliver me from this here human oh Lord Lord have mercy deliver me mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm not interested I'm not interested in the kind of money you make I I, I need to know that you're fine I need, I need to know that you're fine in life in terms of financially, but I don't need to know the kind of money you spend and make and all of that on a first date, Ibile. Why? Just because it's got, I can endow, it's a nothing for me. Swipe at some point in life. I'm swiping, but just because you're swiping, you must the whole world know that you're swiping. Hey, it's tacky. It's classless and it comes across that you're materialistic and you're artificial. I agree. This, this, this is one of my deal breakers as well. Like once you start mentioning what kind of money you're making, how much you're spending, whatever, I don't care. I don't, listen, I don't care damn. Full clock. I really don't. As long as you are fine, you are comfortable, you are settled in life. That's all I need to know. I don't know. Talking while, I think this is a gentleman. I think this is a guy, or is it a lady? I'm not sure, but it looks like it's a picture of Denzel Washington. It could be a lady, I don't know. Talking while having food in their mouth and smelly armpits, let me tell you. Ooh, Jesus. <laughs> okay, smelly armpits already, G. Why did you even get to the first date? How did you even get to the first date? The first time you met that person before they decided to ask you out on a first date, how did you even get that far? Because the moment they were next to you, you should have been getting a whiff. A whiff. And you still continue to go on the date. I get out of here. And have you ever smelled armpits mixed with perfume? <laughs> Don't wish that upon your worst enemy. Don't wish that upon your worst friend. It's like, it's like when people go to the bathroom and then they do the number, you know, and then after that they spray bostroperis and cream, bottling linen, but whatever. It makes it worse, my darling. <laughs> Don't do that. The arm pity one is exactly the same thing. If you know that you've just come from a basketball game or you've just come from wherever and you're rushing to the date and you just change and your pits are pitting, your pits are pitting, don't put perfume. Just don't. Just <sighs> don't put perfume. Okay? Smelly pits. And if you're going to chew, there's people, you know, you know when someone is chewing and they're busy with their fucking knife, their knife and fork, and they're busy with their knife and fork, okay, and a spoon, and they're having soup, and the moment it comes to their lips, your, to their mouth, okay, and the moment it comes to their mouth, all you hear is, mm, guys, he got the guy's soul, mm. guys, the guy's soul, spoon, or fork, or knife, or whatever it is, into this, their mouth, and it hits their teeth, oh, mm. Open your mouth. That's what he said. <laughs> Open your mouth. And what? why must we hear the crackle, the snap, crackle, and pop 
of the spoon hitting your teeth while we're eating. Oh, man. Oh, boy. create. No, no. Deal breaker. First, first day deal breaker. I'm not spinning the bill with a man. It's either he pays in full or I pay him in full and then he'll never ever hear from me again. Let me tell you something, girls. Love yourselves. Ah, I'm just tired. Okay, there's this thing going around in TikTok from the song called Stand In Your Business. Let me tell you, if there's one thing you need to stand in your business about, is not paying the bill on the first date. Dipu, do not consider this man. Ditebo, do not consider this man. Do not consider this man or woman or, 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 or gender fluid human being that has decided to take you out on the stage. If they have taken, if they were the ones who called you and said, girl, man, you know what I'm thinking? Maybe we should, you know, maybe I should take you out on a date. Maybe you should get ready, you know? Get ready and uh, look cute because I'm going to come pick you up and take you. Then they are paying in full. Aye, 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 aye. When I always have a little bit, have, have money, just in case somebody dines and dashes here on you. Mara, if somebody, please stand in your business. Stand in your business. Know that if somebody has asked you out on a date, you are not paying nothing. You have been invited out on the date. Even 50 cents said it. He said on the, was it the Jimmy Kimmel show? He said that, so what do you think about who should pay on, on a date, and he said, the person who invited me. Da ding ding ding. Even if a millionaire can say that, who are you? Yes, we are sitting here, we are a hundred years, a thousand years. But if a millionaire can say that, ah, you are not. Lua, now you can demand, stay in your business. What is this? And for sure, if, if, if I do pay on the first date, you're never hearing me from me again. You're never hearing from me. You, you know what I'm saying. Right. You wanting me to come to your house on our first date. Yes, sis. You block her right away. I don't even waste time. I know that's right. Why? Why in the world are you going? Have you watched true crime? Do you know the country you live in? And you could live anywhere in the world. Just know that men are not nice people. Okay? Why are you going to someone's house as a first date? Chantel? Don't think I don't know what you did last weekend, Chantel. Why? Why are you going to somebody's house on the first date where nah? Mpo. Why? Why are you going? What do you think is going to happen? Do you want to come out of there in pieces? Exactly. So why are you going to someone's house on the first date? They can tell you that they have decked out, they got an indoor date night picnic, wara wara, strawberries and shrimp, and all of that. Why are you going to their house? Even a restaurant offers strawberries and shrimp. It does. So where are you going? Where are you going there? Why are you going there? Jesus. You know nothing about this person and you want to, the moment somebody says, no, I think we should just do it at my house. Bye. 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 A man that talks about how basically rich he is. Girl, we are together. Sisonke, Rikau Fela, Wena No Sipo. Yes. Okay. Slindile, it's really, it's a problem. When someone talks about how rich they are, it comes across as vain. It comes across as morally superior. It comes across as yuck. It's an ick for me. Let the richness show by paying for the date and giving me a money. But you don't have to tell me about all that. No. When they chew loudly or speak while they have food in their mouth. Oh! Oh, I'm so tired, child. I would die. I'm so tired. I'm really tired. It's the disrespect. So yeah, like I was I was with the boys and and you know this is just so funny, eh? Close! One, two, three, four, five, nineteen hundred. I'm stressed. My you know what my mama used to do when I was younger? My nose always itches every single time I record. 
because of the makeup. You know what my mama used to do when I was younger? Every time I, I'd forget, in my mouth, a nice hot clap. I said, close your mouth while you chill. Exactly. For me, it's how not the table manners. Why are you eating like an animal at the table? Why are you eating like an animal at the table? We don't bring animals to the table. What is wrong? You're looking like a zebra chewing on grass. Stop. <laughs> Just. <laughs> you are looking like. Have you seen a zebra chew on grass? Exactly. Man, I'm, a, I'm gonna dislocate my jaw just trying to do that. Why in the world? Hey, yo. Ah. <laughs> he tapped his glass with a fork to get the waiter's attention. I'm out. I'm getting up and I'm walking out. If there's one thing that really bothers me and frustrates me a lot is people who disrespect service staff. I'm telling you, waiters, people who clean your hotel rooms. Listen, people who are at, uh, bo, sure, sure, my sister, sure, my sister, reverse my sister, yeah, but my sister, yeah, but my sister. People who disrespect people like that or people who clean our streets or people who collect our bins or people do... People who disrespect any form of service stuff, I'm out. I don't, I don't care to know who your last name is. Today I'm going to make cock. In other words, I'm going to make shut. I don't care to know if your father hurt you and you've got daddy trust issues. I don't care to hear nothing. Because it shows me what lack of respect you have for other human beings. Sus. It's a yuck. Um, she continues to say, the guy said, Wapanda, like he's hustling, okay, and has a company registered and he's waiting for a few payments. You're waiting for a few payments. Are you trying to tell me in other words that, hey, maybe we're going to need to split the bill? <laughs> what is Upanda? Uh -uh. Now I want to know what you do. Don't tell me who are panda. Oh, panda ing. Oh, panda ing. Are you pandering this dog Are you pandering, you know, you are a gambler? Are you pandering because you are stealing cars and then selling them cross border? What is pandering? I want to know what you pandering about. Mm -mm, don't, what? So if they say, let's go 50, bye. I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. How dare you? You know, the bill splitting one can catch me several streets away. Mm-mm. so mzwake tebu Who else typically does that? Sfeso. Ooh, tabang. Botato. Kibonehe. They are the ones... I have never, I can, I can, I can feel it. I can feel. You, you can, you can sense it in the name. Tabang. 50-50. Can you, can you hear the ring? Exactly. So if somebody's going to say to me, let's split the bill 50-50. Oh, this is how it's done. Where I come from. Oh, this, this, this. Oh, this is what I believe. Bye. Yo. If he's shorter than me, then I'm out. You are so mean. <laughs> it depends. Then you can. It makes sense. Then joke. I mean, it depends. It depends. Like, okay, I'm really short. Okay, I'm really, really short. So to get a guy who's shorter than me is one very rare, 
okay? And if at all I do get a guy shorter than me, then I have every right. I have every right to say, or oh, no, I can't be with you because I'm short already. What is going to happen? Amara, if you are, you're a tall hun, and then maybe he's the same height as you, or maybe slightly under. In Alibo, cute, man. In Alibo, Bobo Zendaya and Timothy Chalamet. You know what I'm saying? It's good, but cute, and I like she's taller, you know. He's slightly shorter. It's fine. It's fine. It's cute. Not about sex, man. Of course, it can't be this short like his ear to you. You know, mara au mara. Loud chewing. This lady also says loud chewing. Yep. Chew like a zebra eating on grass. Don't do that. Don't do that, Marty. <laughs> Being rude to the service. Waiters, everything. The service staff. Being rude. If you are going to shout and scream, there's a piece of hair in my food. Was the waiter in the back there doing the food? This is unacceptable. Call your manager. I want to talk to your manager. This is unacceptable. What is this? What is this? This gravy is supposed to look red. But now it's looking green. What is this? It's pesto. You it's not gravy. <laughs> To service staff is unacceptable even in my language even in my world it's completely unacceptable and i will never tolerate it on a date with a current partner on a date whatever you can be generally a very nice person and maybe you're stressed out on the day and we're together we're a couple and all of that and you are rude or you're a little short and curt with the service staff i'm gonna call you to order i really am gonna call you and then what is that hi when Catch me several streets away, no. No. Hupupura marabo. Basically chewing on bones. Literally grabbing every single flesh. Flesh that is left on the bone. Restaurant thing, Munna. Yeah, I know sometimes you know you could be eating a zinga wing. You know, sometimes you could be eating a zinga wing. And uh, it's it's good, man. You gotta you gotta go all the way up in there. But you're at home. Man, you imagine getting the cartilage out of the meh. What are you hungry? Do you want another plate? <laughs> no, because then we can we can talk to somebody who can talk to somebody. Who can then make another plate for you? Because what is this? And I asked him, mm, mm, mm. Hi, man. What? <laughs> when he eats from his and my plate. No. Hi, 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 hi. No, this is the first time I disagree with <laughs> You know why? Because I'm the problem. <laughs> the why, what, how, oh. <laughs> because I am the problem. I eat from his plate and my plate, but I don't do it continuously, okay? And I don't go in with my like, mm, let me try that, let me do this, let me try that. I don't, I'm just like, man, that steak looks real good, dude. And he'll be like, he'll cut it for me and put it on my plate. And then maybe I might ask about it one more time, not just for the culture, or for the street culture. Um, um, and man, that look real good. That look real good. And I don't mind. I'm the, I'm the person who actually doesn't mind. If somebody's going to pull from my plate continuously, consistently, all the time, I actually really don't mind that. I'm not bothered by someone um, eating from my plate. Just don't have more food than I do. Especially if it's coming from my plate. That's rude. That's rude. Um, and when they talk bad about women and they lie unprovoked, I have a problem. 
with people who talk badly about women. I have a problem with people who talk badly about women. If you're going to dog on your ex or your female colleague or a member of your family or whatever, then you're definitely going to dog on me when you meet your parents or when you talk to your friends. Like she's nice, but oh, that's just... Her afro is just so unkept. Arr. If somebody can talk badly about other people when they are with you, apply this in all spheres of your life. If somebody can talk badly about other people when they are with you, finish the sentence. Exactly. Oh. If he doesn't believe in Jesus, girl, no. Hey, but you hey, la la. We have very different opinions on the G's. Okay, we have very different opinions on Brajayi. No, don't do that. Don't do that. That's not nice. That's so judgy. Now you're gonna prove that person right, Uri. You see, Jesus's people are very judgmental. Don't do that, Joe. We all have different levels of spirituality. You know, some people may believe in Jesus, but don't go to church. And that's okay. Some people may not believe in Jesus and believe in the D. The, the, the other D. The D-E-V-I-L-D. You know what I'm saying? They might. It, it, or be atheists. Atheists. What do atheists even believe in? <laughs> do they even believe in anything? They don't believe in anything. They could, they couldn't, I don't know. Anyway, let's have a look at the screenshots. If I did take any screenshots, because a lot of the time, sometimes I forget. But we'll see, we'll see. Sometimes I don't. So let's have a look. Yes. Untidy look. Oh, 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 oh. Why didn't we talk about this? If you're going to rock up looking unkept, like, like really, you, you tried but you didn't. No, that time I'm looking real good. No, please, no, please, no, 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 no. Um, sounds rude, definitely. What is going on with my phone? Okay. Uh, swallowing loudly. <laughs> I just want manners. I'm with her. I'm with her, 110. With her 110%. I think that's it. I think that's pretty much it. I think I will wrap it up here. You guys have pretty much mentioned every single thing that I would mention, especially going on a first date. Um, I personally also don't like it if you continuously stare at other females while I'm on the date with you. It's rude. It's rude. It's rude. It's rude. Try and maybe keep attention here. And also don't stare here because maybe I might be wearing something low cut, like V cut. You know what I'm saying? Don't try not to. Yeah. I find that extremely rude and very off-putting. You can look at someone walk past, yes. But if your eyes are consistently wandering, looking here, there, everywhere, I don't like that. I find that very rude and typically a lot of the time will not return for a second date. So I'd love to hear from you guys. Let me know. What is it for you, Sposeso, Zwake, King, Tabang, Tato? What is it for you guys? Or you ladies? Okay, because I, I can see that um, when I, uh, Valencia, you're itching to say something. So please comment down below. What is it for you guys that are absolute deal breakers in the beginning? I would love to know what you're going to say. Outside of that, I'm going to wrap this Candid with Cat here up now because we're about to film an unpopular so, uh i'm gonna so i'm gonna wrap this one up here now thank you very very much for tuning in if you did like the video please click subscribe join the family and if you care so we're going into a new year maybe become a member of the jk space there's over i don't know how many videos and they may be 34 35 at this point you will enjoy them thank you so much and i'm gonna go until the next video don't forget to like the video let's get it over to a thousand likes until then i'll see you very very soon until then 
Sayonara and good luck. Oh, good luck because mm, the twenty boys are coming. It's a cesspool. Oh my gosh, you guys. Dating. The dating pool is. The dating pool has poo in it. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. So I've been out of the dating. I'm sorry, I can't emulate that girl. I'm sorry.